For a long, long, long time, this is what you had when it came to Android devices. One user account. This is my wallpaper. And these are my programs. And these are my widgets. And these are all the wonderful things that make the tablet mine. But what if you share the tablet with someone else? They obviously want their wallpapers, programs and preferences. And now it's easy to do. Very easy, in fact, by adding a new user. And here is how you do it. Go to settings and then choose the user option. Now, you can do several things here, such as updating your user account, setting a new nickname, even adding some notes about your own account. But what we're really interested in here is the new user button. So let's press it and see what happens. When you choose to add a new user, you will be warned that any user can accept updated app permissions. So there is still a shared element to different users. But other than that, each user will have their own environment to play in. If you choose to set up your new user now, you'll be taken back to the lock screen. And this is where you will see two pictures at the bottom of the screen. This is where you can switch from one user to the other. So if I press on my own face here at the bottom, it's going to switch back to my original user account. And as you can see, there's my wallpaper. Press on the new user account and it will switch back to the new wallpaper, which we haven't yet changed. In this example, we'll set up an account with no email just so that we can see what the home page looks like. And as you can see, it looks just like the Nexus 7 when you first got it. The wallpapers, apps and widgets have defaulted back to their original state. Your new user is ready to start playing with their own environment. Of course, to download applications, the new user will have to have an email account and that does get a little bit complicated and as this is just the basics, I'll leave it there for now. To switch accounts, all you need to do is lock your tablet, then press the power button and you're back at the lock screen where you're ready to switch from one user to the other. So let's return to my account. And obviously, if you want to delete a user, you will need to go back to settings and press the delete button. As I've said, there is a lot more to multiple user accounts, so use this as a guide to get you started. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you're hungry for more videos, subscribe. It's free after all.